still no trace of a 12 year old Bolivar County girl who vanished two days ago while walking to school. And tonight, her mother is making another desperate plea for the sixth graders' return while police are looking yeah. deeper into Jasmine Baker's online activity. 11 News reporter George Lettuce is live in Towson with the latest. George. Well, Donna and Stan, also new tonight, detectives think they know the electronic device Jasmine had with her when she disappeared. Meanwhile, her mom is, is barely holding on at this point. She wanted to talk to us again tonight in the hopes that maybe Jasmine and the person she may be with are watching. Another day without Jasmine Baker is another day of agony for her family. As the days go by and that she's not here, we just... The more, the more times her face is seen, then you guys will remember and you won't forget. And she won't be just a missing kid. The 12 year old has been missing since Tuesday morning. She vanished after she left her Nottingham home. Her parents thought she walked to Perry Hall Middle School, but she never showed up for class. Tonight, her mother, Tina, hopes her daughter is watching. And if you can hear me, I am with you. Please know I'm with you. Police are asking her contacts on social media to call police in the hopes they can help locate her. Police say Jasmine does not have a cell phone with her, but thinks she has an iPod touch with her. As far as we know, she doesn't have a charger, so we're really not sure what her capabilities are right now to communicate, but we have not been able to identify any social media activity by Jasmine since she disappeared on Tuesday. Police have confirmed Jasmine had a history of communicating with men, some in other states, through the iPod Touch, the app Kick, or Xbox Live, where she would interact with them while playing video games. But detectives don't know if there's been any such communication over the last few weeks. Meanwhile, the ground search is growing. The FBI is putting her image up on highway billboards in more mid-Atlantic states. And the Perry Hall community handed out more missing flyers this afternoon. Jasmine family believes wherever she is now or whomever she's with, she's there against her will. She's my baby, not yours. And you don't get to keep her. You don't get to keep her. I get to keep her. Please. Please. We're going to put a number on the bottom of your screen. It's a number Baltimore County detectives hope anyone will call if they have any information about Jasmine or this case. It is 410. 307 2020. Right now, detectives have no evidence that Jasmine has left the state of Maryland and they still have no indication that Jasmine was abducted. We're live in Baltimore County, George Lattice, WBAL TV 11 News.